my first time in Speaker's Corner. Well, I hope you enjoy I'm it. I'm a big fan, very big fan. And yeah. So far, it's been love and it's been... Uh, now I see police and I see all this different commotion. The police are here everywhere. I see tensions have risen. Okay. Sharia law tells you that you put your right foot in first and then your left. Oh. And when you put your sandals on, you put your right sandal on, then your left. And then when you... Right. And it tells you how to hold your member when you're going to the toilet. Now, tell me, brother, do you honestly think that this is necessary? Uh, sorry, I'm talking to this guy. No, I'm sorry, I'm talking to this guy. At the conference of Nisya, 300, 400 Bibles were presented where they come from. Oh, I'm sorry? That, about the Council the of Nicaea? Where it's a system board. Okay, let's it's, just... Hold on. You're talking Three. rubbish. I think that truth is important enough yeah. that it should be discussed seriously. Yeah. And if we find that we're not yeah. standing in the truth, yeah. we have to change. So, if the truth is Islam, I want to... There you go. I see you on YouTube, man. Okay. Yeah, great. How are you? How are you? What's your name, brother? Uh, my name is Anish. Anish? Nice yeah, to meet you, Anish. You too, you too, man. I, I, I'm taking a guess that you're a Muslim. Huh? I'm taking a wild guess. Why? Why? Do I look like one or something? Well, I, I'm, just, I'm just taking a guess. What? I'm just taking a guess. I could be anything. How do you want to? I don't have a cross underneath. What happened here? I, I, I have a cross. I have a cross. I have hey, a this cross. one's a good one. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well, where are you from? Originally? Yeah. Uh, from Afghanistan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Long way from home. From the mountains. Yeah. 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 Are you enjoying it? Huh? The UK, are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of yeah. Course. Well, after 30 years of war, obviously, I want to find a place where there's a bit of. Peace and stability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can appreciate yeah, yeah. that. I get that. I get that. Yeah. So, how are you, man? How's it going? I'm all right, thank yeah, you, yeah. God. Are you yeah. uh, English as well? Or? I, I was born and raised here, yeah. My family has long historical roots in this country. Okay, well, Very long, very long historical It reminds me of this joke. They uh, said, um, so an Englishman was digging the ground yeah. and they found some uh, phone cables. Okay. So they said that they, they said to the foreigners, said, "Look, we had phone ca cables even 50 years ago." Yeah. So then they went to a, a foreigner's country, uh, for example, Afghanistan. Then they started digging, and they they couldn't find any cables. They couldn't find anything. So he turned around and he said to the guy, "Look, we were wireless since 100 years ago." Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad joke. Right? That's not a bad joke at all. Alright, all right. so I mean, you've watched Soko films, like uh, you've seen, you've seen us on Soko films. Yeah, I've seen you guys yeah. on YouTube. I follow Speakers Corner. Okay. So Speakers Corner is excellent. Yeah. She's doing a great job. Yeah. With just the diversity here, different types of arguments, speeches, dialogues. It's just really nice. It's nice to embrace all these different ideas yeah. and styles of talking and speeches yeah. and people being put under pressure, people being uplifted, people yeah. changing, people accepting certain faiths, yeah. different ideas. It's just yeah. amazing to watch. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I, I, I like this. Yeah. Tell, tell me, in terms of yourself, like, what, what, what is your, your perception of, of, of the Christian faith? The Christian faith? The Christian faith. Well, the Christians have more followers than the out of the Abrahamic uh, religions, mm. I believe that the Christians have more followers. So, you know, it has that many followers, about 2.2 billion. Yeah. Right? And, uh, you know, people like uh, Jimmy Swaggart. I don't know him, but. You know, Jimmy Swaggart, one, yeah, of, has one of the biggest followers uh, of Christianity. Mm. And uh, I don't know, for some, for some reason, I think now, nowadays, it's become more of a business and more of a fashion, fashion sense, religion itself. Mm. All believe, religions. I believe so, yeah. All I religion. believe, yeah. I okay. believe like, it's become more of a fashion sense now. Yeah. That uh, my religion is better than yours, my religion is portrayed better than yours, and my cultural roots and uh, what my culture, in terms of my religion, allows and provides is better than yours. Yeah. 
Do you understand? You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little bit distracted oh, no, by, not by this guy. Yeah, yeah. Him so, much. so can yeah. we take a step away from him? So I can... No, no, no this, is, yeah. this is the thing about speaker's corner. Well, I'm trying we shouldn't to, no, run I'm away saying, from I'm everything. I'm trying to listen to we you. We shouldn't run. You should stay. Right here. I'm trying to listen to you. Yeah, okay. No. That's what I'm trying to do. No, no, so listening. Listening. what I heard was that you said that religion is a bit of a, a fashion. It's become And a did I hear you correctly that you were saying that your religion is presented better than my religion? Or did I mishear you because of the guy? My brother, my brother. Do you want to stop this and, 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 and rewind? No, so I'm we asking can... because this guy was shouting and I was distracted, so I'm not sure that I heard you properly. There's so many people shouting, no, it brother. Was this, but I can this, hear you loud and clear. <laughs> so I I'm can asking, hear you loud and clear. So I'm asking you, what? just repeat that last bit again. About yeah. the... About, or is that the claims of different religions? I can't rephrase it and re reword it the way I just said it on the camera. Yeah. But I said that religion has become the talk of the town now. Yeah. So to say. Yeah. It's become the number one thing to talk about now. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. And speakers corner. Mm. And uh, what more can I say? I don't, I okay, don't so I mean, I mean, you, you, you've, you've told me your your perceptions of, of, of Christianity. That is fine. Yeah. In terms of your knowledge of the essential claims of the Christian faith. Yeah, yeah. What do you know about our essential claims? Our essential two claims. Wow. Where shall I start? Where shall I start? Where shall I begin? Um. I think there's other other YouTube uh, videos that can bring justice to this question that you have asked me. Um, I claim, brother, I, le I leave it to the people of uh, a, 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 a higher caliber, so to say. Uh, okay. Are you higher, saying that you don't know the essential? No, I know the basics. I know. The, of no, course, everyone asking. knows the basics. I'm asking, what the... what do you perceive to be the basics of the Christian faith? No, that's the thing. Now I would need to go back and bring my references and uh, my research and uh, what I've learned so far, even from Speaker's Corner, to come and debate that type of widespread topic. It's a very big topic, Robert. Well, very big I'm, topic. I'm just asking you for like a summary of what you, you understand. No, no, the basics, the for example. Yes, for example. We believe that God exists. Does Christianity believe that? Yes. We believe God exists, right? Yeah. That's one of the biggest things already. Like we've got so much in common already, you know? We believe in, in, in God, which is important, but the way that God gets described and, and, and you know, the way that God kind of gets, uh, you know, I mean, just talked about, that we don't know. I, I would suggest to you that the differences between Christianity and Islam okay. are, f are far more profound importance than any similarities. So let me just highlight some of those. Both Christians and Muslims only believe in one God. Yes. But yes. Christians believe that God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Muslims deny that God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. No, no. Christians believe that, that Jesus Christ is God in flesh. No, no, we agreed that we believe in God. We didn't agree, Father, Holy Spirit, and what you. That's just what said. I'm saying. That's we believe. I'm we agreed on God. That, but I'm That's saying. It. That, and I'm saying that what we disagree about is a far more profound importance. Mm, I don't. I don't. Uh, no, because but we agree. Uh, 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 there's on one the God. Basis, yes. Then there's one God. Yes. Yeah. That's it. But like, there's more. There's what more do we to need that? more than that? Well, for instance. No, then your interpretation of that God is different to my interpretation. Of God. Then this is where we differ. This is yes. where we differ. This is where we clash. Yeah. Where we debate yeah. and we have hours and hours spent on who is right and who is wrong. And, yes. You know what I'm saying? So, so for instance, Christians believe that Christ was crucified. Yeah. Muslims don't believe that Christ was crucified. Yeah. Christians believe that Christ rose from the dead. Yeah. Muslims don't believe that Christ rose from the dead. Christians believe that. We believe he was. He rose. He was taken up. But he didn't Allah. come down. We yeah, believe you, he rose, that's it. But you don't believe he rose from the dead? Because no. you don't believe he died? Yes, because exactly. I love him. Yeah. Why do so, I want my prophet to die? So, I mean, well, it's a very interesting question. Yeah. It's a very interesting question. Yeah. I mean, in the Quran, yeah. or, or do you know the verse that it talks about the crucifixion? Yeah, I do. Right. Could you say it for us? I mean, no, I don't know. I, if don't, I, don't, I can't say it. No. Okay. I don't want to mis misread it. Sure. Do you have the Quran with you? Uh, I do on my phone. Do you want to pull up the verse? No, I told you, brother. I, I'll leave it to someone 
more of a higher caliber, more of a, a sense of knowledge, like more sure. learned than me. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm not here to force I'm a conversation. I'm here to be honest, to, to enjoy. This is my first time in Speaker's Corner. Well, I hope you enjoy I'm it. a big fan, very big fan. And yeah. So far it's been love and it's been... Uh, now I see police and I see all this different commotion. The police are here everywhere. I see tensions have risen. Uh, people are far more emotional than they are normally. Yeah. People, I've seen anger here. I've seen all the different type of emotions that a human being, you know, emits. Yeah. And it's 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 wonderful to see that. Brother, I, I'm not going to force a conversation with you. Okay. I, I've tried to engage you in one, but I can tell that you're reticent to to speak, and that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to give you this. It's Easter for us as Christians. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say that that belief in the one God is important, but it is not enough. No, no. It is not enough. Now, for example, I'll tell you, it's because about, Sikhs believe in one God. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you're coming from now. Yeah. Are you coming from the side? Are you actually morally like, like really just when you come out with this type of? Uh, claim and, uh, and what you're trying to say or are you talking in a sense of cultural business side of religion for example religion is a big business Re religion rakes in a lot of money now if you leave my religion that means I'm losing business that means I'm losing money do you understand yeah are you kind of coming out uh, from it from a, from a kind of human being Kind of side where where it's cultural, well, where it's uh, where it's where it's I'll business. Tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. So for me, there is an importance to truth, yeah. and that truth has to be something that we we, we follow wherever it leads. Yeah. And I think that truth is important enough. Yeah. that it should be discussed seriously yeah and if we find that we're not yeah. standing in the truth yeah we have to change so if the truth is islam i want to be a muslim okay if wow. the truth is islam wow. i want to be a muslim okay now are you if talking the truth spiritually is, if the truth is christianity i want you to be a christian like dr zakir naik says yeah if you find one unequivocal unequivocal statement yeah. in the Bible or anywhere in the Holy Scriptures where Jesus says I'm God or worship me, then I will accept what you say. Okay, I'll show you. No, listen, listen, you listen. Said. No, Dr. Zakir Naik. So I'll show me, Dr. Zakir Naik. No, no, let me tell you. Dr. Zakir Naik has challenged. We know Dr. Zakir. Exactly. He's and, challenged. And he's been rebutted many times by David Wood, for instance. Mm -hmm. David Wood. Uh, I mean, no, no, that's that's Sam, uh, Sam Shamu. Now this is your interpretation. They, they, this they, is your interpretation of things. But did you listen to the message? Did yeah, I heard listen? what you said. So this is what I'm saying. So you looked at it culturally. You looked at it as a human being. You looked at it as a as a business side of things. Yeah. But if you really were, were spiritual and you were seeking the truth, brother. You would know who is the liar and who is the truthful one. We're actually, we've, we we've been know, talking a lot about lies. We all know who is, the, who is the truthful one yeah. and who is the liar. Yeah. Deep inside, when we go home and we are alone, we are alone with ourselves and we are in yeah. our beds and we are thinking and we are contemplating about life and what is life and what is the truth. and We come to some sort of decisions with ourselves. Those private conversations we have with ourselves, if only those were revealed to humans and mankind. Well, they will on Judgment Day. Exactly, will be my brother. Day. Exactly, my Let brother. Let me ask you this question. This is the Muslim belief as well. This of course, I, I agree. Well. And, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we find that within the Islamic Dawah team, okay. like not you personally, I don't think I've ever seen you before, so I don't think you're part yeah. of the Islamic Dawah team. So this is why I, I'm talking with you very differently. Yeah. But I find that when I encounter the regular Muslims here are giving dawah yeah. week after week after week. Yeah. There is great disingenuousness okay. about the kind of arguments that they use against the Bible and against the Christian faith. Okay. That if we take their logic and just reverse it, okay. their own religion falls down. Oh, Islam that's the thing down. about well, Speaker's Corner then, brother. That's I the thing. I'd like to say something about that. Yeah.
but you can it's not really as simple as you've seen it because um, um, things work differently in Islam than in Christianity, so it's not as simple as just reversing it. Yeah. I agree that the, the, the religions are different and therefore we judge them differently. But can I just show you something? Please. You, 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 Zaki and I. Let me answer your question. One second. Well, no, one second. Zaki and I. Zaki and I said, show me where Jesus called himself God. In the Quran, you know and I know that the names of Allah are 99 in number. Those are his attributes. Yes, and they're, they're, they're the names of Allah, are they not? Yeah, those are the names. Yes, okay, yes. so Allah calls himself by these names. Yeah, but yeah. because. So. Allah says, Allah says that He is the first and He is the last. Okay? Jesus says, Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city. Outside are dogs and sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and uh, the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying. Whose biography is I, this? Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things. So, Jesus is calling himself the first and the last. Tell me, who can come before the first? Nobody. Nobody. Who can come after the last? Nobody. Nobody. So who is the first and the last? God. God. So Jesus is saying, I am the first and the last. So has Jesus called himself God? No. He hasn't. So explain to me how you can square your earlier answers where you said to, to what Jesus shall we, said. Shall we stop the video and rewind it? and no. come back to the place where I said I'm not learned, I'm not knowledgeable of this well, and we need someone who is more knowledgeable of these things okay. to come and, and, and speak. We'll, we'll leave it there then, but yeah. I'll leave you with that thought. It's yeah. nice to meet you, you're a nice guy. You too, my brother. You have a great day today, you okay? Too, my brother. Take care. Take and care, uh, leave your comments and we'll uh, Yeah, yeah I, will, I will definitely. All right. So go on, you, you were... What I will say to that is that Okay, so I, I guess I will agree that in, the, in that context that Jesus is calling himself God if, yes. he, if he really means, if he, what he's saying doesn't mean anything else, then yeah. yeah. But then after that, what I'll ask, uh, what I, the next question I'll ask is why is that reliable? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm a Muslim and I believe Allah is... Yeah. Only well, actually, the, 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 the yeah. book that I quoted is the book of Revelations. All right. And the book of Revelations was revealed, re, was revealed yeah. to the, the writer in a dream, a personal dream. Okay. Now, as you well know, parts of the Quran were revealed to Muhammad yeah. in dreams. Okay. Yeah. Now, there was no witnesses yeah. to what uh, the, the Apostle John wrote down in his book. Just like there were no witnesses to Muhammad's claims that he was hearing the angel or that, that, that God spoke to him in dreams. So it has the same validity, it has the same validity that we, we, we have about the Quran. Uh, can I just say, uh, for what I hear Muslims say, what I've seen online, um, they say the reason why they would trust Muhammad more, trust yeah. Muhammad Salah, is because, well, well, it's like basically through the hadith and what they hear about him, the, um, his character, the people who knew him and all that, and all of it's recorded. So yeah. that's, why, um, that's why some Muslims say they trust Muhammad more rather than the Bible. So, um, Shall I explain why I reject that logic? Okay. The reason why I reject that logic yeah. is because all of, these, all of these accounts that you're talking about, that talk about Muhammad, yes. they were actually written hundreds of years later. That Sahih al-Bukhari was about 250 years, if not more years, after Muhammad. The Sirat literature, the, the, the biographies of Muhammad, are written much later. Now, the thing is, the, the New Testament, the first parts of the New Testament were written within 10 years of the events that they're talking about. And the Gospels are written within 40 to 70 years after the events that they're talking about. So if we compare the literature, if we compare the literature of, of the Sirat and the Hadiths to the New Testament, and we ask which one is closer to the time that they're describing, the New Testament is much closer than the Islamic literature. Well, well, my refusal to that is that they were actually, they weren't written, they were compiled. The, the recitations were all memorized by all the people, and then they, like, like you said, like 200 years later, that's when they were compiled. So there's... Who told you that they were memorized? Well, that's what I've learned online. That's yeah, but that's my point. All the information that you're quoting all comes centuries later. 
It's centuries later that people are saying that these things were memorized. Hold on, hold so on. what what guarantee do you have? Two hundred years well, after the con at the conference of Nisia. Uh, sorry, I'm hold, talking to this guy. Minute, minute. No, I'm sorry, I'm at talking to this guy. At the conference of Nisia, three hundred, four hundred Bibles were presented. Where they come from? Oh, I'm sorry. At the, about the council, at the council of, of Nisia. Nisia. Where it's a symbol. Okay, let's it's, just hold on. You're talking three, rubbish. But 400 Bibles were presented where they come from. Everybody rubbish. writing Bible. If I, I was at that time, I would read the Bible as well. You're talking rubbish. Where they come from? You're talking where rubbish. Where the Bible come from? 400 Bibles, where they come from? I'm asking you. You're talking rubbish. That, I'm not talking rubbish. You it's are reality talking rubbish. here. You're, you're how many Bibles? You are, are six, talking rubbish. Six Bibles. Six Bibles. Two were rejected. Which that, Quran are you using? The halves, the wash, or the dori? Um, the Quran is one. What, which which one? Hold on. The halves, the wash, or the dori? Yeah, this but which, is a which book. Which one? No doubt about it. Which one? This is a book. Which Quran. one? Quran. Which one? Which one? The halves, the wash, everyone. or the dori? Everyone. Ah, so there's more Bible. than one. This church, this so is there's one. more than one Quran. Another one. Brother. Another one. Another so one. there's more than one Quran. We'll discuss that after this point. Thank you. Thank you. I heard one argument. You got the answer. I really haven't, but anyway, go on. So yeah, um, what I heard is that the reason, is not real. the reason why it, it's, it's tentus, reliable, the tentus, oral translation, tentus, right? It's reliable tentus, because tentus, if it wasn't, yeah, that if, yeah. if the originals were lost, yeah. um, they would be, it, it'd be like a case of Chinese whispers where they'd be multiple yeah. um, different contradiction narrations. So that, that's yeah. why. But um, the chain of narration that Muslims have from what I've seen online, because I haven't memorized this myself. I'm only Are you aware that the Hadith literature is self-contradictory? Yes. Are you aware that the Hadith literature contradicts the Quran? Yeah. Not, not all. Yeah. Are you aware that there are Hadiths that are used to make laws in Islam that contradict the, the plain reading of the Quranic text? I thought, that's what I thought. Right. So, so one example of that would be the apostasy laws. You know about the apostasy laws, right? Yes, yes. What happens in the apostasy laws? Uh, if, you, if you leave Islam, if you, if you stop being a Muslim, you'll be executed. You'll be killed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now that's based on a hadith that's Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay? Sahih al-Bukhari says that a Muslim can be killed for one of three reasons. If they kill unjustly, if they uh, commit adultery, and if they leave the religion of Islam. Okay? But the Quran says, let there be no compulsion in religion. So a hadith that is sahih and accepted by the Muslims in the making of the Sharia contradicts directly what the Quran says. Now, if your sources are self-contradictory and you're using the hadiths, not the Quran, to make your laws, what's that saying about the idea of Sharia? It's tricky. It's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Now, here's a simple thing. As Christians, we're called simply to love. Do you need a law to tell you how to love? Uh, or just a mind that can think? Uh, mind that can think. That's it, a mind that can think. So the Christian faith is immediately applicable to anyone, so long as they've got a mind that can think. And if they haven't got a mind that can think, then they're someone, they are someone who needs love. We don't need to worry about them loving. They need more love from the people around them. Yeah? Now, we, we, my, my point to you is that the Hadith literature is contradictory, and the Hadith literature comes centuries after what Muhammad said. The New Testament, yes, there are passages that are contradictory. I'm not denying that. But they're closer to the time, and on everything that is essential truth, on everything that is essential truth, they are in clear agreement. Okay? So, your two sources in Islam are the Hadiths and the Quran. And on things to do that are, are of central importance, like Taweed, they're in agreement. Except that the Sharia is formed out of the use of Hadith and Quran, and the two contradict one another. The Christian faith simply says love. And all you need is a mind to do that. Because you experience love from your mother and your father. So you have an image of what love is. And Christ calls us to perfect that love in the way that we live. And we do that by loving God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength, one God. And by loving our neighbor as ourselves. So the good that I want you to have, I do for me. And you should want the good for yourself, you do to me. So if you want to be happy, healthy and wealthy, 
You do those things that allow me to be happy, healthy and wealthy. And if I want you to be happy, healthy and wealthy, then I do the things that allow you to be happy, healthy and wealthy. I agree with that. Yeah? Do you need complicated law to, to live like this? No. Now, which is better? You tell me. A system of laws that tell you how to go to the toilet, how to put on your trousers, how to put on your sandals, how to pray, how to wash, or this simple law that says love? I'm kind of in between. Okay. Yeah, like, oh well, yeah, like a simple law, but like explains what's needed. Yeah. Like it gives the important details. So yeah, not like ex I don't want a law that's like over overbearing or too complicated. I like I like a middle ground that's like that explains everything that needs to be explained. That's what I. Well, well, how would you a, a law that would be overbearing? I, I I think you would agree with me. Is a law that tries to control you too much. Yes. Yeah. The Quran, the, the Sharia law, covers every aspect of life, doesn't it? Even to how you put your trousers on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, go and look it up. Okay. Sharia law tells you that you put your right foot in first and then your left. And when you put your sandals on, you put your right sandal on, then your left. And then when you... Right. And it tells you how to hold your member when you're going to the toilet. Now, tell me, brother, do you honestly think that this is necessary? This kind of detail to live a good life? Well, I have to get the reasons behind it. Yeah. I saw asked the Muslim Islamic scholars why. What's the reason behind all these? Like you your right for? Sorry to interrupt. You okay. will never get that right answer. All right. I will tell you something. I was born as a Muslim. Okay. You know. And now? Uh, um, now I'm uh, secular, like uh, a free thinker. A free thinker. You know? Okay. But still, he, what he's saying, this guy, yeah. he's saying with knowledge. Okay. Knowledge in his religion and also in, in Islam, but. When, when I was hearing the argument with him, with the old man, our old man was just talking without any knowledge. Yeah. You know, he I'm just sure. like, yeah, he just was talking without any knowledge at all, you know. Yeah. But really what he's saying is true. When you're talking about the Islam, how many Islam? What Islam? Which Islam? <laughs> Uh, Do you know what? I'm a, I, I guess I classify so, myself as Sunni. Uh, okay, fair enough. And Speaker's Corner like, motivates me to, um, to study a bit more. Yes. I would encourage you, brother, to yeah. do some deep social searching okay. and to ask yourself some really basic questions. If God wants to speak to everyone a message that everyone can understand, doesn't it make sense that He speaks on something that everyone has already experienced? Uh, as, in, as in love? Yeah? Or, if you look at the Sharia law, the Sharia law has certain assumptions about the nature of the world and about the nature of society that have to be in place for it to make sense. I'll give you an example. At Ramadan, a Muslim prays from sunrise to sunset. And you're told by how, when to begin and start your fasting because you can tell the difference between black and white cotton. This is what the Quran says, okay? Now, that assumes that the sun rises and sets in every part of the world. So what do you do when you go to Greenland and the sun only rises and sets twice a year? You see, the author of the Quran thought that the world was the same the world over because he didn't know that in Greenland the sun doesn't rise and doesn't set for most of the year and it only does it twice a year. He didn't know. Well, what, I was, what I personally would assume, yeah. uh, I'm just guessing, of course. is that probably Islam has um, something to cover that issue. Of course it does, absolutely okay. it does. Okay. But it does it through innovating and saying something that Muhammad never said. Okay. Right. So what it says is, there's, there's two schools of thought. Okay. You either go by the, the time by the nearest Muslim country, or you go by what's happening in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the way they get around it. But that's never ever anything that Muhammad ever said, and it's never anything that Muhammad ever assumed that would need to be said. Wait, it's the law schools. The law schools come up with it. They make it up. Okay. Now, do you? Christ taught us to love. Yeah, and he told us that we have to work out, and the apostles tell, tell us we have to work out what that means in our own life with fear and trembling. You don't need to adapt that whether you're in Greenland or in the UK. You can apply that in Saudi Arabia, you can apply that in the UK, you can apply that in Greenland. Yeah, but like, that's not very, those are very diverse, very, very different topics. True, this yeah. is true. They are multiple topics. Yeah. I would leave you with this example. That Christ is 
a more universal message to mankind and that he is someone whose teaching will make you a better man. Whereas I look at the Prophet Muhammad and I find things objectionable. I, I, I cannot follow that Prophet. I can't follow him because he allowed people, he allowed his followers to rape sex slaves. Oh, I don't can I, can I, I, I completely reject that. That's what's in the hadiths though. And you're a Sunni and it's in your hadiths. Yeah, so either, so what, I, what I will say is, what I will say is either that's, that's completely false. Yeah. Because yeah, straight off in Islam, sex outside of marriage is... Agreed. So I, if it says so, that, then... So this is another example where the hadiths are contradicting <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, in the Quran, in Surah 4, verse 24, it says, Forbidden to you are married women except those that your right hands possess. Okay. Now, the hadith that relates to how that verse was revealed talks about married women who were captured in war and Muslims were not willing to have sex with them in front of their husbands and Muhammad encourages them to do so. You can look that up yourself. Okay? But that means that Muhammad is saying that it's okay to have sex with married women. Look that up. Look that up. But if you look if you look up what I've said, watch the video on so-called films so that you can go back over what we've heard. Yeah? Right? Look look back through on so-called films so you can go through everything we've said and go away and research it properly. But if you research it, and if you find that I have not lied and that I have spoken truth, then you owe it to yourself to leave Islam. You owe it to yourself to come to something better. And that better is Jesus Christ. I want to give you this gift as, a, as an Easter thing. You've been a really nice bloke. It's been really pleasant to talk with you. Yes, you look you. after yourself and have a very pleasant day. Thank God you. bless. Thank you.